You two have both continued to be very uh, engaged in in the current state of Star Wars. But do you find it overall any different now creating a television show or a movie? I I can tell you easily, hands down, the biggest difference between working on a Star Wars film and working on any of the streaming shows is the volume of work, which isn't a very exciting answer, but it's hands down the biggest difference. Mm -hmm. On a big visual effects summer tentpole film, you, we might have 2,500 or pushing 3,000 shots, depending on the movie and the cutting style and how long the movie is. But, you know, 2,500 shots is, a, is kind of a usual number for a show that size. And we might do those effects in a, eight months to a year and a half, depending on the schedule of the show and all that. On a single season of The Mandalorian, we're doing about 5,000 visual effects shots. And we do them in roughly the same amount of time. So wow. that is hands down for me, the biggest challenge on those shows is how to manage all that work at, at a high level, because we're not, we don't, we don't have like a part of ILM that's like, that does like lesser work for streaming <laughs> than we do for movies. Right. We just do the same quality level that we do. We just have to find a way to manage the work and, and fit it into the box of the schedule and the and the budgets and stuff for streaming um so that's the biggest challenge but there's other exciting things like the volume is really cool um but that's part of what rob was talking about about ilm just always kind of innovating and looking for new ways to do things and it's always great when we have a um director who's keen to do that which favreau clearly is he's been innovating for a while with projects like jungle book and lion king before the mandalorian where he was experimenting with different forms of virtual production and that carried on into uh you know partnering with us to create the volume for mandalorian and honestly that's that's another thing that i really enjoy about the streaming world is is actually getting to work with a bunch of different directors on a season um mm -hmm. rather than because mm -hmm. i love you know, working with directors and getting to know directors is one of the, my favorite parts of the job. But um, on a feature, you you meet one director and you kind of partner with them, which is great and it's rewarding and all that. But on a, a fun thing about a streaming show is you might get, you know, four or five different directors over a whole season that you get to know and get to learn from and rub elbows with. And hmm. so that's that's been really fun. And then Mandalorian's the first streaming work I've ever done. I, I hadn't worked on any um tv stuff i we call it we still call it tv stuff but <laughs> it's a different world now it's um but yeah it's the first thing i've i've worked on what about you rob any thoughts well ilm has grown enormously since the days when we were doing phantom menace so we've got five studios around the world and these mm. streaming shows are parceled up and sent to the five different studios so that's a different way of working than we were working in, in the old days um we always have a you know a main supervisor, an overall supervisor who's reviewing the work, but then we have subsets in each of the locations. And we do have good crossover between Australia and California. So my team here is always in contact, daily contact with the team in San Francisco or um, Vancouver. Um, so that's a different way for us to work, but it is about the efficiencies and it's about you know, leveraging all everything we've learned over all the movies. And so there's a there's actually a Star Wars council. They yeah. have regular meetings where they share best practices and they also have a whole presentation that they uh, show to these new episodic directors who come in so they also understand. So it's about it's always about um, helping the filmmakers um, understand our world so that we can help with their vision. So yeah. It, it is fun having more, you know, uh, uh, over, you know, turnover between the, the directors. So you are, and you're getting a different flavor of Star Wars from these different folks. So that is, that's a lot of fun. But I can speak from the Sydney team. They love working on these shows. I mean, we still have a, a large percentage of our crew that are now like less than half my age, but they <laughs> have come because, uh, you know, Star Wars at some point in their life has touched them and they want to, be part of that so we've got a lot of really enthusiastic people who were like put their hands up i want to work on the next one um and so that's great yeah i have you have, you have that experience where someone will come up to you in the hallway and say 
oh, Attack of the Clones was the first movie I ever saw in a theater with my parents. I was six years old. And <laughs> yeah. I just look at them and say, that's deeply hurtful. Never say anything like that. <laughs> I don't want to know how I, I don't want to know that I'm that old. Please, please never say that again. I, I, well, see that... I, I see that as passing the baton because I did that to Joe Johnston not too long ago. <laughs> I, had, I, I had a chance to meet Joe on a call and it was a little bit of a fanboy moment and I told him how old I was when Star Wars came out and he was like, yeah, thanks a lot for that. <laughs> you know, I was 13 and I'm 60 now. You know, it's like, oh my God. <laughs>